Takashi Ten Sato is a 16 and 3 welterweight born and fighting out of Tokyo, Japan. 14 of 16 victories by way of stoppage. He's already 2 and 1 in the UFC with 2 KOs and looks for a third against an undefeated contender at UFC Vegas 15. Winding back the clock to 2013, Sato with one pro victory under his belt, no defeats. He's facing 1-0 and o Joe Proctor. Not the UFC's Joe Proctor, but strikingly similar in looks. He's the owner of a 37-second armbar in his only pro bout. Round one, Proctor flies forward into the clinch, then pulls guard, trying to set up another quick armbar. Sato evades that and the loose heel hook as he finds the chin with some strikes. Now Sato backstanding but tosses the legs aside, advancing to side control with the far side arm cinched up. Takashi transitions to the other side for the arm triangle choke and seconds later, opponents tap in. Takashi Sato is 2-0 after this submission 2 minutes and 31 seconds into the very first round. Gets his first finish on the resume, great passing on the mat to lock up that arm triangle. Proctor lost in the sauce. Four years later, Takashi is 10-1, facing the only man to beat him, Kenta Takagi. Opponent beat Sato back in 2015, now with a record of 15-13. Early first, Sato hints at the outside trip, then positions Takagi and trips him right down. Opponent bridges, but Sato takes the back. Takashi threatening from the 50-50 grip, outside trip again down to side control. Seconds later, Sato starching his opponent with ground and pound, makes Takagi give up his back. Still brutalizing him moments later, and finally, the ref decides to end it. Takashi Sato gets revenge with a TKO due to ground strikes. 3 minutes and 57 seconds into round 1. Avenges the only loss on his record in emphatic fashion. Takagi had no answers for Sato's ground game. Sato's next fight is his third and final of 2017, facing former Pancrase champion Akihiro Murayama, fighting ever since 2003. Now with a record of 19-7 and 9. 9 draws. This man's got some rounds in the cage to his name. 2 minutes left round 1. Sato controlling the cage as he rolls into the left straight. Big blow. Backs Murayama up and Takashi lands a right left then an elbow. Takes him into the clinch. Nice knee to the body from Sato on the end. 40 seconds later, Murayama's eye is closing. He's desperate for a takedown, but the single leg attempt goes absolutely nowhere. Ground strikes to the side of the head badly hurt Murayama, and he's all out of options. TKO victory for Takashi Sato, now 12 and 1. Four fight finish streak all by strikes in round 1 for 10. Sato's striking a level above Murayama who had the experience, but looked lost on the feet on this night. Takashi split his next two, a round one KO and a submission loss to Pancrase champ and UFC vet Glyco Franza. Now third and final fight of 2018, up against 10 and one Matt Vale. Start of the fight, Takashi times the leg kick and fires left right 2-1 clipping Vale on the ear. Two minutes and change later, Takashi just touches him with the left straight, scoring the knockdown. Cannot finish his opponent, but the power in that left hand, my goodness. End of the first, now Sato doing work in the clinch. Knees slashing elbows and punches as they trade on the cage. Early round three, Vale comes forward as Takashi tries to counter left, but no, knocked down by the left. Sato stays active and climbs back to his feet with the single leg grip. Minute later, Takashi back up, and now he scores another knockdown. Step in elbow did the trick. Vale holds a leg for dear life, but moments later, Sato advancing to mount and laying down some heavy ground and pound until the ref pulls him off. 
phenomenal fight from Matt Vale and Takashi Sato. Back and forth action, multiple knockdowns, but emerging out of the second round was Sato with his hand raised. This victory scored him a UFC contract where he is now 2-1 and one with two vicious finishes. Tan returns to the cage to face Caramel Thunder 9-0 Miguel Baeza at UFC Vegas 15.